Oh, and there's the seventh star piece. Come on, Mario. Send that last one way up high. Yeah. Send that baby up there. And we have done it. Finally recovered all seven star pieces. And now we can repair the star road. Isn't it a beauty? Oh, and all the stars start blinking and going crazy. And what's going on now? We beat Smithy and everything. Thank you, everyone. The star road is back to normal, and... Oh, man. This is awesome. I love this. And he's just a wooden doll again. Gino has reverted to his true form, which is little star, little star. And he's gonna hover over to each of us, kind of saying like a little thank you almost. It's pretty cute. Yeah, Gino, you go back up there to your star road and live a lovely life. And so we will never see you in another Nintendo game except like one where you cameo. There it is. Uh, I can't believe I'm at the end of this game. And I can't believe I took how long it took to get here, but still. Doesn't matter how long it took. The music is so completely fitting in every one of these final scenes. Including the final battle and everything. There's Exor and... He's just gonna fade off into dust. His purpose here is gone. Smithy is no more. The sky is bright and blue. And Bowser's keep is back. We got the star road here now. Oh. Oh, now we're actually going to get to see how each one of our characters ended up at the f end of our adventure. Mal is back in Nimbus land. He is the prince at long last, his just deserved title. Awesome, Mal. Oh, my favorite little puffball ever. Green star will show us. There's Bowser and the Koopa Troop and they're rebuilding the castle. Awesome. Yeah. I guess they're going to rebuild it with paper now, though, so that the events of Paper Mario can progress. And the orange star will show us. Oh, man, look at that. There's Johnny, staring off into the sunset, satisfied with everything. Lived a good life, he did. And the magenta star, or the purple star, whatever it is. It's the Yoshis! Awesome! It's cr and Croc goes there with them. He is kind of like a Yoshi, isn't he? Oh, he tried to cheat, but he's still lost. Man, and Boshi and Croco just walk off. I still have to show that. I haven't actually beaten that race. Maybe I can do that in a bonus episode. But I tell you, I've tried, and I just cannot pull that crap off. If anyone can help me with that, that would be well appreciated. Oh my gosh, Todovsky! Sweet. And he's got his own choir and everything now, and Oh, it's Frog Fucius, man. Or do they have a theme song for him now? My God, I love when they do this in games where they like show how all these characters you met along your adventure, just how they turned out. <laughs> it's Booster and Valentine. They're getting married by Dodo. 
no less. Oh, yeah. Oh, Booster, you're so stupid. Dodo looks at the camera one last time. And the final 7-star piece, the golden one, what's it gonna show us? What else but... Mario and Toadstool, Yoshi and the Toads. Thank you. You're very, very welcome, Mario. Oh, yeah. Oh, wink. Surprised there wasn't a little ding there, too. And that, my friends, is Super Mario RPG. And here we got a little, like, nice little parade led by Luigi, of all people. The one guy who didn't actually appear in the game. That's it, guys. This is the end of this LP. I hate to say it because I know plenty of you have enjoyed this and I know I've enjoyed doing it. You have no idea. You guys have just been all awesome. All, all of you who have watched this through all the way through or even just part the way through. Even if you just watched the last episode, that's something. And there's Lakitu Bus. JB on the side. I think that's actually referring to Lakitu's Japanese name, but whatever. I suppose it doesn't matter now. There's Mallow on the bus too and everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is such an awesome game, and if you ever get a chance to play this, by all means, take it up. It's on the Wii Shop channel, so go buy it. I don't th even think it's that expensive. It's either like 500 or 1,000 Wii Shop points. And that's one big-ass ba bomb. Oh, is that that one guy? What was his name? He was like the one boss that never reappeared. Uh, It's like Pinocchio or something. <laughs> it's not Pinocchio, dude. There's Croco and Chain Chomps pulling the castle along. Yeah, this is probably... It, if this isn't my favorite RPG of all time, it's definitely just one of my favorite... It's t one of my top five favorite games of all time, not even just RPGs. And who knows, I might come back and do this again in a few years, because I really probably could have done this game better justice than I did. And one day when I'm actually better LP -er and everything and I have more people following me hopefully then and show this off to more people because I think a lot of people like really didn't like this game or something because it's like the first time a Mario RPG game was tried and a lot of people just weren't into that kind of thing maybe man oh, maybe I should take some time yeah I think I'll take some time right now just to thank everyone who helped me with all the stuff and made this LP possible Okay, now that we're done with that, I would like to thank uh, everyone for watching, especially that all of you are really awesome. I can't thank you enough for watching my stupidity for these past, what is it now, 59, 60 videos? <laughs> the shysters. Yeah, um, ooh, another thank you to uh, Nintendo Capri Sun for voicing Smithy in that last battle. He's an awesome guy, and he's actually almost at the end of his Mario RPG, RPG LP. And he started that way after me. Damn it, Smith, he's still alive. Look at that. Oh, I guess we didn't do away with him for good, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't appear in any other game, so I guess he just goes off about his business. Doing something else. I don't know, I'd love to see Smithy in another game, personally. Uh, what the hell's a monitor coordinator? I don't know. Oh, it's Johnny. That's great. Oh, man. I guess the sun is setting. <gasps> Whoa! It's like Christmas. It's like zoo lights. Special thanks to special thanks to all of you. I know I've said that so much now, but there's really nothing more I can say. Um, as far as bonus episodes go, I will have a few of them showcasing some of the stuff I didn't do. Um, namely, some things that I want to show off are the hundred super jumps and the reward for that. The uh, Boshi race, like I said. The um, actually, there's something in this kind of credits thing that I might want to show off in a bonus episode too, but that'll be at the very end. We'll see that. Um, oh, I kind of want to make a bonus video showing like all the enemies and their th like thoughts, because with Mallow's uh, psychopath ability, you can read the thoughts of enemies as we know, and some of them were actually pretty funny. I actually laughed my ass off at some of them, because I was like reading on a website about some of the quotes, and some of them are pretty hilarious. A lot of them actually have pop culture references too. It's Yoshi being ridden by the Toad Chancellor. Oh, and there's Mario and Toadstool riding on a big old star float. 
signifying the end of the credits. Executive producer, Hiroshi Yamauchi and Tetsuo Mizuno. Yep. And there's Gino. Oh, that crazy fool. Oh, and one more bonus episode that I need to talk about is the, uh, as many of you know, there's an optional boss in Monstro Town that I still need to show off. So that's definitely going to happen. Don't, don't you worry about that. Oh, it's all in the plan. And here go the fireworks. Got to end off every great adventure with fireworks. They're just the universal signifier of, yay, you did it. You are the master. Even though I'm not the master at all. I completely suck at this game. But even though I completely suck, I did make it to the end. Even though it took me 60 parts. Oh my goodness, this video really is going to be half an hour long. I don't believe this. And we get a big mushroom firework. And that firework is actually related to that bonus video I was talking about in the credits. Uh, I'll probably talk about that later. But for now, let's just enjoy the ending here. And there's Gino again. Guess he's flying all the way back up to the Star Road. Man, this ending actually goes on for a while, but I love every part of it. This is just... great. Star Road is all stitched up and everything. The end! And there it is. That is the final screen of Super Mario RPG. That is crazy. And the end is supposed to be moving. Like the, I don't know, the gradient effect is supposed to move along. There it is. Was it like crashed there for a second? That was weird. Well, if there's nothing better to signify the end of an LP than that, I think I'm going to have to end this video off now. I said my piece. And I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. Um... I won't be starting an LP directly after this one because I already have three LPs going on right now. Well, two now that this one's over. And technically just one because Kirby's Epic Yarn is still on kind of a hiatus. But I will be getting back to it eventually, don't worry. So I think I'll wait until the end of Majora's Mask until I start a new LP. But until the next video that you watch, I guess, of mine. Until whatever in Majora's Mask or my next LP that you decide to watch. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I love you all so much. You don't even know how much I love you. Like, you, you're, you guys are the reason that I am still doing this right now. I would have quit long ago if it weren't for you, thousand some people out there. Yep. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.